to make the presentation now to our sixth inductee, an immortal, a king, and a legend. Please welcome Wally Lewis. Let's make welcome our next inductee, a man regarded by many as one of the toughest and fairest players in the history of the game. When your statue sits alongside the king, you know your rugby league royalty. Darren Lockyer is not only immortalised in the life-size statue outside Lang Park, there is even part of a Queensland highway named after him. Hopefully the road surface is as durable as the achievements of one of the finest players in rugby league history. Lockyer, Lockyer 10 metres out, the 18 year old searches for a try. In his 17 year career, Darren set appearance records for the Brisbane Broncos with 355 games. Queensland with 36 state of origins, plus two during Super League, and Australia, 59 games plus four during Super League. He captained Australia on a record 38 occasions, scored most tries, and won a World Cup. He starred in four premierships for the Brisbane Broncos and seven successful State of Origin campaigns, winning the Wally Lewis Medal for Player of the Series in 2006. He also won the Clive Churchill Medal for Best Player in the 2000 Grand Final and was the Broncos Player of the Year four times. A cross goes Lockyer and he got him! Among a long list of awards and decorations, he was named at fullback in the Queensland Rugby League's Team of the Century and twice won the Golden Boot for International Player of the Year. He's galloped into space! Lock gets with it! Lock will score! In 2008, he was named in a list of Australia's 100 Greatest League Players of all time. Darren was known not only as a superb performer, but as a forward having never been suspended or even charged by the judiciary. Darren Lockyer is inducted into the Sport Australia Hall of Fame as an athletic member for the sport of rugby league. Please welcome into the Sport Australia Hall of Fame, one of the league's finest, Darren Lockyer. Um, the King gives you your medal, you've won the Wally Lewis medal, you've got a statue right next to him. Uh, what a thrill for you tonight. Yes, it, I think it's one of those moments where you pinch yourself. I, I mean, I've worked with Wally uh, at Channel 9 for a few years now. Mm. Uh, but if I wind the clock back 25 years ago, I was a kid, a 15-year-old that just idolised Wally. Um, and you know, look at some of the, the names here in the room. I remember as a, as a five-year-old, you know, vaguely remembering, remembering Robert Vicastella winning in, uh, in Brisbane at the Commonwealth yeah. Games. And then, mm -hmm. then it was John's turn in 83 with the America's Cup. And I remember I was an AFL kid uh, in the early days and, and Lethal was, was a, uh, a Hawthorne legend that I, I grew up watching. And well, your dad played for Morningside, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was a, a QA, yeah, so, so did it ever, was there ever a thought that, you might have a crack at that other coach. Oh, look, I, that, that opportunity got taken away from me. Mum and Dad moved west to take a job opportunity and the only game they played was, was rugby league. So that was where, you know, my inspiration for wanting to play for, for the Broncos, Queensland, Australia, was, was born watching Wally for the first time at origin level. You said uh, one of your quotes was that uh, I'm just a country kid with a dream. Was it always a dream from a very young age that, you wanted the big stage? I think it's a dream for every kid. Uh, whether that's actually going to happen, or, uh, you, that's the unknown. Mm. I think you always continue to dream. And I came to the Broncos uh, as a 17-year-old, just turning 18, and I got, I got lucky. I got fortunate. I was in a good system. I got an opportunity early. And um, you know, I was mentored by Wayne Bennett for 14 years. So uh, my mum and dad brought me up. Um, 
really roll with you know respect and you know work ethic. But uh, I got lucky in, in having someone like Wayne Wayne Bennett at the Broncos for, for 14 years. I was going to ask was one of my questions. Uh, what sort of a mentor was he to you, not only on the field but off it as well? Yeah, I, I think uh, one of the greatest testaments for, for Wayne is uh, that the players that, that you know retired 20 years ago still ring him for advice about life. I think he, he took an interest in every player, not just on the field but off the field. Um, so he, you know, I think he you know, was, you know, his, his records, uh, you know, un, unrivaled, and he, he deserves. Uh, uh, every accolade he gets. Uh, the other guy was Wayne, uh, Melbourne Ingo. Um, yeah. He was a big part of uh, mentoring me at that representative level because at Queensland State of Origin, we weren't always going as well as we were of recent years. We were we were struggling and, and Mel turned it around. You've played on every stage. Is representing your country the sweetest thing you can do? It's always been the highest honour. And I think, again, as a kid growing up, waking up early in the morning to watch... The Kangaroos play Great Britain uh, in England. Uh, that was always something I wanted to do. Uh, I think the most rewarding thing for, for I guess, a, a player in our code, like AFL, like so, is, is winning premierships. Um, that's what you work so hard for. You treasure those. But there's no there's no better feeling in, in, than singing the national anthem like we did tonight than knowing you're about to go into battle for your country against someone else. True. Tough but fair has been, yeah. has been what has described you. Where did those traits come from? Is that something that was instilled into you by your father or an early coach? Where did it come from? Well, I think both mum and dad, you know, they've, they've, uh, they've always had a great work ethic, whether it was at work or, you know, at home, you know, making us do chores or doing the yard work. Uh, so work ethic was always there, uh, but you still, need, you still need great mentors to guide you in the right direction. Darren, you've been an outstanding ambassador for the game. Congratulations, a huge honour tonight yeah. and welcome to the Sport Australia Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you.